Hello and welcome to a PHP Basics tutorial on form handling. In this uh, tutorial I will be covering the basics of handling a form in PHP as well as how to code a form in HTML. Um, so let's get started. First things first, I'm just going to open and close some HTML tags. I'm going to ignore my doc types for today even though that's bad practice. Um, okay, so within your HTML, uh, you can have the or open and close form. So that's just form in um, greater than, less than symbols, and then the regular closing, which is just a forward slash after form. So within these um, tags, there are two main attributes that we are going to assign it. The first one being method and the second one being action. So in method there are two things. It can be it can be a post or it can be get. I will be discussing the difference between these when I get to the PHP part of this tutorial. Action is the page which the form will submit to. Um, so for instance I could submit it to submitted data thingy dot php but I don't have that file so I'm going to submit it to form underscore handling dot php which is the current file I'm working in as you can see up here um, but since it's the current file I actually don't need to type in the file name I can just en enter a blank string and that will submit to this um, page now, those are the two main attributes. It can take more, such as name, uh, ID, that sort of thing, but we're only going to be using these two. Now, uh, there are a number of elements within the form, um, the main one being input. An input self end. So instead of having an input opening and input closing tag, you have input, and then instead of just closing it off normally, you have closing it off using a forward slash and then the closing tag. Um, this has a number of elements too. Uh, this time we're going to define name, type, and uh, yeah, just name and type for this one. So in name, just like in all other HTML elements that have the name attribute, it's just an identifier for the specific name. So this one we're just going to name it text. And the name is very important once it comes to the PHP part of this tutorial. The type, uh, there's a number of types, and if you've seen a video where they've used input um, before, then you would probably have seen input type text, or input type password, or input type radio. There's a number of them. I will link in the description to um, a page that talks about all the different input types. I may make a video on it later, but for this one, since it's mainly about PHP form handling, I'm going to set it to text. What this means is that we're going to have within our form an input that you can enter text data into. So if we refresh this page, you can see that we have a little box right here and I can type into it. And this uh, displays as regular text data. If I were to change this to password, and we refresh this page, it's still a text box, but when I type into it, it's start out. And so that's the difference, but we're going to change that back to text and save. Now we're going to put in another input type. Um, the type is going to be submit. The name will also be submit. And we're also going to assign this one a value. Now value is another um, attribute of the input tag. What this does is it assigns um, a predetermined value to the object that the page submits. So here I'm going to assign it the value of submit exclamation mark. Now I'm going to um, go back to here, refresh. First thing you'll notice we see we have the submit button. The submit, which is the value, has appeared on it. So that's the first noticeable place where value appears. But if I type something in here and click submit, if you look up here in the URL, I'm going to copy this and bring it into my notepad down here. 
um, can ignore up to here. So we have, this is our page name, form handling.php. We have a question mark. We have text, which as you can see is the name of the first input field, equals hey. Hey is what I typed into the text box. We then have an ampersand, which is the and symbol. Submit, which is the name of the submit, is equal to submit, which is the value I gave it. So as you can see, since we are using get, in the URL, each of the um, input type names is assigned the value that we give it. If you um, were to assign this an automated value is equal to, and let's delete that, and save, we'll refresh this now, you can see that text comes up here. If we submit, text is now in place of where hey is. If we change this to hey, we'll submit. Hey is now up there, but since the value is text, text goes back in the box. Um, so that's the very basics of creating your HTML form, and I'm just going to remove the value here. Um, <coughs> really, all you will need ever need are your form and your inputs. Uh, they do get more complicated than that, but I'm leaving it at that for this tutorial. Um, now I'm going to start on the PHP. So we're going to open and close our PHP tags here. And as you remember, I mentioned uh, this method right here. This method is um, the way which the P or the server deals with the uh, the information that's being submitted. So the get variable or the get method, as you can see, inserts it into the URL. The other method, post, if we just go back here, delete that, refresh, we now submit. You see it does not go into the URL, but the page has still submitted it. So that's the main visible difference is that get submits to the URL, post does not. Um, the other difference is based on the limitations of what you can submit. Uh, post allows you to submit much more data than get does, and it's more powerful. Get has more restrictions on it and submits through the URL. Uh, if you want to know more information on this, you can check out um, documents online that describe in detail. But basically, that is the difference. Um, when dealing with it in PHP, it is assigned into uh, what I is generally referred to as a get or a post variable. That is um, accessed using the dollar or yeah, dollar sign underscore and then post or get respectively, depending on what your method is. Now with and then it opens up square brackets, similar to how an array works. Um, within these square brackets, you open up quotes and you have the name of whatever field you want to uh, use. So for instance, if we want to access the text field, we would have dollar or dollar underscore post text. So let's just echo this out um, and then refresh this page and we'll resend the data and you see we get hey. If we type in buy and submit, we echo out buy. Now if we were to change this method to get and this to get, um, and we'll now refresh the page, we won't resend the data so we'll refresh it that way. We get undefined index, don't worry about that error right now, we're just going to send hey again. You can see that we echo out hey in the same way that we did before, but hey is also up here. So um, it's the basics of how you access these um, variables. Uh, and the basics of the difference between get and 
post. Let's change this back to post, and let's change this back to post. So, um, generally speaking, a form will be used so that the user can input data. So let's just say that we wanted to um, allow the user to enter their name. So we're going to do a couple. I'm just going to make this little code here to show you. First thing that we want to do is we want to check to see if the um, submit has been pressed. And the reason we do this is to avoid that error that we saw before where it said undefined index because that was saying that the form has not been submitted, basically. And so we want to avoid that error. So we're going to say if is set dollar inch and post submit. If this is set, we want to do what's in this brackets. If it's not set, then we're going to do whatever. But so if it's set, we are going to say echo um, hello and then underscore post text. So basically, we're going to get the user to enter their name in the text field. And if the text has been submitted, we're going to say hello to them. If it has not been, we will not say hello to them. So um, we're going to go over, refresh this page. You can see that we don't get any errors, even though we are still echoing out that variable. Then I'm going to type in my name. My name's Dylan. So we'll go to click submit, and you get hello, Dylan. It's a very basic use for the form, but it's to illustrate that or the use of them. Um, so just to quickly recap on what we've learned. Um, so a form takes the main two attributes of method and action. Action is the page it submits to. Method is post or get, depending on how you want to send the data. Um, the main inputs are, or the main elements are the input elements. And these take your name, which is the PHP identifier within the get and post um, variables. It's the identifying key. Then you can also have your type, which we've used submit and text. Um, there are a number of different types. Again, link to a guide for that in the description. And value if you want it to have a predetermined value. If not, the value is assigned based on what the user inputs. Then within PHP, it is called using the underscore or dollar underscore and then get or post depending on the method you're using. And then in square brackets and quotes the identifying key that you have. And that is where the value will be stored, assuming the value has been set by the page already. That is about it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you learned something. Please feel free to ask me questions in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them or find the answers for you. Please check out my other videos on my channel and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.